Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing my monthly makeup tutorial and I am going to do the look with the bluey purpley eyeliner that I wore in my makeup bag collection video. I said I was thinking about doing it and then loads of you commented saying yes please and that you really liked it so thank you and it is a really nice summery day today. I think London finally has some sun. Sorry I always talk about the weather, it's a very English thing. But I'm going out later so this look will be perfect for today. I'm going to start with an SPF, this is the Chanel SPF 50 because I recently had laser on my face. I would always wear SPF anyway, but it's especially important when you have laser, you really have to do it. So I'm just gonna rub this on. I really like this SPF, it's not at all sticky. Okay, so for this look with the eyeliner, I like to have quite perfected skin, but then it's also a summer's day and I don't like wearing too much makeup when you're out in the sunshine, because I just feel like it may look good on camera, but when people look at you in real life, you just look like you're wearing loads of makeup. So I also want to wear quite a nice light dewy base. And for this, I'm gonna be using the Yves Lom Tinted Moisturizer. I really, really like this. And the makeup artist that was on the very exclusive shoot that I did said he's obsessed with these, which kind of made me like it even more, you know, and it has like approval of an amazing makeup artist. It comes in this really great like squeezy tube. So I'm just gonna squeeze some onto the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna start working it in with my fingers, but finish blending it out with a brush. It's just, it's got quite a nice like gel texture to it actually. It's very easy to work into the skin. It feels really nice on the skin and like smooths out the texture very quickly. I always think with tinted moisturizers, it's quite nice to use your fingers, especially on a sunny day. It really kind of stops it from sitting on top of the skin. I use shade Vanilla 4, which is a very good match for me. It was quite hard to find the right color though because there's quite a few, which is also good. But I'm just gonna keep applying thin layers and just smooth it down with my hands. I think when it is a bit warmer, thin layers is the best way to make your makeup last a bit longer. But I think I'm just gonna leave it there. I really like the dewiness of this tinted moisturizer, but as you can see, it's not kind of full coverage. You can still see my skin and my blemishes. It's just a really nice base to start with. And then I like to use concealer just to cover any other blemishes. So obviously I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Naked Concealer, which I'm obsessed with, but I really need to get the lighter color because this is a little bit dark for me at the moment. But again, I'm just gonna put a thin layer and then work on more layers from there. Just don't want to look like I'm wearing too much makeup. But I am gonna use a brush because I find using my fingers for concealer really kind of messy and quite difficult. So I'm just gonna blend that in. You've seen me do this a million times before. What I like to do around my eyes is start with a brush but then work it in with my fingers and take it onto the lid slightly. I think this also just helps your concealer from creasing you really work it in with your fingers. I just don't look elegant when I do my makeup. You know some people do their makeup, Lisa Eldridge, and she just looks so elegant. I basically just like slap my face around. I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit more here, where I'm always a bit darker, and then just press that in with my brush. Now I want to keep the dewiness of the makeup, but I also want to set it in certain areas just because it is so like dewy and creamy that it can crease. So I'm gonna use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light, because these powders are so sheer and lightweight, they don't look powdery on the skin at all. And I'm also gonna be using my new brush, which is from RMK, which is the cheek brush, but it's the perfect size for powder, I think. It's so ridiculously soft, so just taking a little bit of that powder and I'm just gonna apply it under the eye and over the eye. So I'm just putting it where I need it, on the chin and slightly on the jawline and then the sides of the nose and the center of the forehead. Okay, now I want to bronze up my skin because as you can see, everything just looks a little bit flat. And for this, I'm obviously using my Soap and Glory Solar Powder, which you've seen me use a million times before, but I love it, it's my favorite bronzer. I'm not really gonna contour with this, I'm gonna kind of apply it just like a traditional bronzer, so across the forehead where the sun would normally hit my face, across the tops of the cheekbones. I like to take it down as well, just to even things out. It may look like I'm applying a lot, but I'm not taking much on the brush and I'm really blending it out. Okay, I'm now gonna apply a blusher and because I've got quite an intense blue eye, I'm not gonna put much blusher on and I wanted something quite light. So I'm gonna use my Hourglass Blusher in Diffused Heat, which is really pretty, it looks like this is all swirled and it's quite highlighty as well. Um, for a cheaper alternative though, you can use the Max Factor Cream Puff Blush, I think they're called. This one's lovely pink and they're pretty much the same. I'm just gonna take this one though and take a little bit on my brush and apply it just on kind of the tops of my cheekbones. So it adds a little flush of color, also a little bit of a highlight as well, but nothing too glittery, because again, when I'm in the sun, I don't like to look like I'm wearing too much makeup. I'm just gonna fill in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Nothing too heavy, but just filling in the front parts and the arches. 
filling in the arches here I think makes all the difference because that's kind of the thinner part of my brows and I'm going to set those with a clear brow gel. Okay so now onto the eyes and because I'm wearing a bright blue underneath the eye I don't like to wear much on the top but I feel like I need something just to balance it out because if I were to just wear the blue eyeliner it all just looks a bit off so I'm going to my trusty MAC palette and I'm going to use patina which is just a really easy light bronzy very inoffensive, easy to wear brown that I always kind of go to. It's this one here, um, the second one in. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid very lightly. So as you can see it doesn't really make much of a difference but it just adds a little something to the lid. I don't know, it makes me feel better. I don't like to wear nothing on my lids, I hardly ever. I always have something on my eyelids. So I'm very lightly dusting that on. See, not much at all, but then I am going to take a brown eyeliner as well. I don't know why, but it's something to do with evening it out. I just feel better with a little bit of eyeliner, but nothing too heavy. I'm going to put this very close to the lash line so it almost just looks like my natural lashes. This is MAC Teddy, which is a very dark brown, um, a lovely eyeliner. And I'm literally just going to press it in right by the lashes. And I'm only really taking it from the middle of the eye to the edge, not right to the inner corner. And do the same on the other eye, which is always harder because I have terrible eyesight in my left eye. I'm not even pressing that hard, I'm just kind of tapping it on. That's all I'm going to do for the liner. Okay, so now for the star of the show. The rest of that is all very kind of normal, you've seen me do it before. But this is the eyeliner or eyeshadow from Kiko. It's a, one of their shadow sticks, so they do cream eyeshadow sticks, which are really good. And they're actually a great dupe for the By Terry Ombre Black Stars. This one is in shade 31, and it's... Unlike anything I've ever worn, this is very much a sort of colour I would go for on my nails. I love these kind of bluey purple periwinkle shades. But I saw this and I had a little voucher for Kiko, so I thought, let's just give it a go, why not? And I love it. It's just the most unique colour, it's somewhere between blue and purple, and I think it goes really well with brown eyes, and I love it. So it's quite a big shadow stick, but you can use it as a liner as well. So what I like to do is just take that underneath the eye. I prefer wearing colour under the eye rather than over, I'm not sure why, it might be something to do with my eye shape, but do whatever works for you, you can use this on the top as well. So I, I can't really talk whilst doing this, I'm going to rub it really close to the lashes and take it quite thick as well. Can you see like instantly it's a cobalt electric blue with slight purple tones. Okay, so once I've put a bit of that on I like to take a small brush, this is one of the Zoeva crease brushes, and blend it out because I don't want it to be harsh, I want it to be quite soft. I'm blending it and pulling it quite out on the side of the eye. So it's not that neat, it's actually quite messy, but that's kind of the look I like. And you can add as much or as little as you like, but I think you should definitely, it should be noticeable, because that's kind of the whole point. So I'm going to do the other side. If you take it too far up, you can just use your finger to blend it out. Right, I'm going to leave that there. And then what happens is, because you're blending it so close to the lashes and smudging it out, it kind of tints the lower lashes, which I think does look quite cool. You can leave it like that, but I'm going to take a little bit of my Clinique Lower Lash Mascara, and I don't want to have long lower lashes, but I'm just going to slightly kind of tint them back to black a little bit. I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes with my Shu Amura eyelash curlers. I don't do them for that long because I'm really lazy and I can't be bothered to wait. And today I'm going to use a waterproof mascara. I haven't really got any good waterproof mascaras. I really need to try that Fairy Drops one that Anna loves. I keep forgetting to get it. This one's from Maybelline. It's the Rocket and it's the waterproof one. Because it's sunny and I know I'm going to go out later and wear sunglasses. And I don't know what the theory is, but when I wear sunglasses, my makeup just disappears. So I'm hoping that this will make it stay a little bit longer. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to the top lashes. Not too much. This is still like a daytime look, so I don't want anything crazy on my lashes. This gives quite nice feathery lashes. Although I think this mascara is quite old, so it may have dried out a bit. Okay, so that is the eyes done. For my lips, I'm going to use this, which I don't know why I haven't used this in a video before. I think it's just because it's been living in my handbag. Um, it's from Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty Lab? I can't remember what it's called. Bite Beauty, I think. I got it from Sephora. And it's in the shade Amaretto, it's one of their lip, it's like a creamy lip pencil and I got this in a nude shade because because it's creamy I didn't want to get a bright colour and actually I'm glad I got this, it's a really lovely nude so I'm going to take this all over the lips, just a bit like a liner because I know it will kind of set and stay in place so I'm just taking that all over it's like a peachy nude So although it's creamy, it does still look a little bit matte. So what I like to do is then just tap 
a little bit of lip balm on top. This is the By Terry Balm de Rose, which has a nice kind of pinky tint to it. Um, I'm just going to dab a bit of that on top because it is a summery look. I want to have moisturised lips, but the liner underneath will make it last longer. So that's it. That is the finished look. Bluey eyeliner, nude lips, a um, bit of bronze. It's really kind of, I wanted to keep everything quite simple on the face and lips and everything. It's just about the blue. I think that is kind of the whole point of this look. And I hope these aren't getting boring for you because as I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just kind of doing my makeup on camera for you guys. But a lot of you seem to like it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the blue eyeliner tutorial. Let me know what you think and let me know if you pick up this Kiko eyeshadow because I think it's really great. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday again. Um, my vlogs will be back on Tuesday. I just had one week off and I'm glad you guys enjoyed my Q&A. So see you on Tuesday and thanks for watching. Bye.